I was very concerned at that point about being castable. I was concerned that maybe I wasn't being considered for roles because I was just too unconventional and maybe I should make more effort to fit in. And then I thought, no, I'm not gonna make any effort to fit in. Hi Vogue, I'm Gwendolyn Christie and this is my life in looks. Before she starts to cry all the way through the filmed feature. This is Brienne of Tarth from Game of Thrones. My goodness, Brienne of Tarth is just so close to my heart. I remember when I first heard about the part, I really wanted to do screen work. That's all I'd wanted to do my whole life, really. I've been told, but just simply because I was a tall woman with somewhat unusual looks, that I would probably never work on screen. But that was a long time ago. And this part had been lovingly crafted by George R. R. Martin, who famously said when asked, how come you always write such brilliant feminist characters? He says, I always think about women as people. What I loved about this part, I truly couldn't believe it existed. I never thought a part like this would come about in television or in film. And I had to take my hair away. I had to acknowledge my height, my strength, my size, my androgyny, and also my vulnerability. And I also had to really get down the gym, um, which was probably the hardest thing of all to do. But this part, I will never stop loving. And in it, it was a huge breakthrough for me. And I think has helped to contribute in some small way towards the landscape of how we see women in our modern entertainment. Because the amazing thing was, people loved the character. 